What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So today we're going to cover a little question here on how you can basically avoid canceling orders on Amazon, which is a big, big deal and will hurt your seller account a lot. But this isn't just for Amazon, right? This also applies to other marketplaces like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, okay? So I'll answer it specifically for Amazon here, but um, just understand that you can take the same kind of strategy and apply it to other marketplaces as well if you deem fit, okay? Frank wrote in the group, hey guys, so I found a great item that sold very quickly. I sold 68 units in 24 hours, and I'm super pumped as this is a big milestone for me. However, somehow I sold nine units that I do not physically have. I'm not sure how I had extra items in my inventory, probably my error, but now I have nine items that I cannot fulfill. I'm kind of freaking out and I don't know what I should do. Has anybody else experienced anything like this? SOS. So. First of all, congratulations on sourcing a great product. 68 units, I think you said, in less than 24 hours is a fast selling product. And if the margin was great, that's a lot of profit. So first of all, congratulations, that's a success right there, okay? Now replicate that process, look for other similar products like that. It's always like a rinse and repeat type of thing, kind of replicate what works for you and avoid what doesn't through trial and error, okay? So first of all, congratulations. Second of all, I think that you said um, and I remember answering this and, and kind of conversing with you in the Facebook group about a week ago about this. So he said it was probably his error that he actually list, he over listed in his inventory because currently with everything going on with the coronavirus right now, um, you have to, with a lot of different items, they just opened books up, but with a lot of different items, you have to actually merchant fulfill yourself, okay? So you can't ship everything into FBA and have them monitor you, your units for you. So because of that, I think we covered that he did actually make an error and actually listed nine more items by accident than he was supposed to. But that happens, it's happened to me a couple different times where you miscalculate how many actual items you have or instead of putting like an eight in the inventory, you put nine and then when you go to sell that ninth unit, you don't actually have that ninth unit and so that can be a problem, right? So you basically have two options. One's the right option and the other one's the one that you probably don't wanna do, okay? So first and foremost, you could simply cancel the order, right? And then, you know, you don't have to ship the items out, right? That said, I would not recommend doing that because canceled orders on Amazon, canceled orders on eBay, and they don't really take it as seriously on Poshmark and Mercari, but I'm sure that eventually, if you cancel enough orders, they will take it seriously. Um, so the, the first thing I would say is don't cancel the order because that will really hurt your seller metrics, and if you cancel enough orders, it will lead to an account suspension, okay? So don't cancel the order. What I would recommend that you do is option number two, right? So what I do, and I've, I've learned, this isn't something I made up, this is something I've learned through networking and other, you know, with other successful resellers, is what I would recommend that you do is find like your cheapest inventory item or the, the maybe the item that doesn't really sell that well that you source and is a mistake, right? And what I would do is ship that item out that like doesn't sell well or is a super low value, ship that out in the same package basically to the customer, okay? And then preemptively, maybe the next day, email them and, and say something like, hey, I just realized, or hey, I was going through inventory or orders and I just realized that one of our employees made a mistake and shipped you out the wrong item. I would like to apologize for this inconvenience. Uh, I, I've gone ahead personally and corrected it myself by refunding your payment and refunding your order and you can keep the item free of charge I hope that that helps or something along those lines, right? So to recap, basically, you're shipping out an item that you don't necessarily care about that doesn't mean just like wrap up something random in your house like a pen, right? Or like, you know, a, a paper clip laying around. That's not what I'm saying, right? Wrap up a physical item, okay? Like something that's an actual product that you have in your inventory. Make sure that you take that out of your inventory as well or you're just run into the same problem eventually in the future on that item. So find something that is of not that much value or isn't selling that well, ship that out out instead to the customer and then preemptively handle that for them by maybe emailing them the next day and saying that, hey, you realized one of your employees made a mistake and packed the wrong item in their order yesterday. You wanted to reach out to them personally and kind of refund their order, make sure that they're happy, apologize for the inconvenience and the misunderstanding. You're already taking fault there, you know, basically reminding them that you're a small business and your employee made a mistake, which will kind of, you know, speak to their heartstrings a little bit. You're refunding them so they won't care anymore. And oh, by the way, they still got the item and you still didn't have to cancel the order so your metrics aren't harmed, okay? So that's basically how I would recommend ha handling that situation. It's one that's happened to me a couple different times and I've handled it that way. 
I don't know, maybe four or five times and never had an issue. The customer's always usually like, thank you for letting me know, I appreciate it or something like that. Or they just don't respond and you never hear back from them. Now, the only thing that I would say is some uh, sellers on, or some buyers on Amazon have opted out of emails so you can't email them preemptively. So in that case, what I'd recommend that you do is the same exact thing, right? Ship it out to them, a completely different item. Ship that item out to them so you don't have to cancel the order. And then what you do is you just simply wait for them to email you because chances are they will email you when they realize that you sh that, sh that you sent them the complete wrong item, okay? So that's basically how I'd handle it. Um, I hope that that really helps, Frank. That's a great question. 